Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past video, we had discussed about the at the rate path variable annotation in a screen MVC. So uh, now in this video tutorial, I continue with the path variable annotation itself. But here we are going to talk about the one of the issue when your path variable input contains uh, a string with dot operator then in that case you will get some issue right that issue let me show you through a practical example so let's create a uh, another project i would say uh, i'm going to create another project with name path variable spring mvc wave app 2 so let's create a dynamic wave project and give the name as path variable spring mvc wave app 2 click on the next next Finally, click on the finish and most of the files I'm going to copy from my previous example itself right so if you did not watch my previous video tutorial then I request you to go and watch my previous video tutorial right so this is the continuation of uh, my previous video itself so let's uh, first copy the all the required jars so or what I can do let's copy all the things which is inside the way final from this project to this newly created project So I have copied all required jars uh, and uh, I have copied uh, wave.xml that is also called deployment descriptor and dispatcher wave.xml uh, that is known as uh, spring wave configuration file. So you can see these are the things I have copied. Okay. Now uh, I have a view inside the views we have a uh, welcome page dot uh, welcome page.jsp file so here in this case i'm going to create a first of all controller and package i'm going to specify uh, that package is already registered for the auto scan so i'm going to create a, a controller in this uh, package right com.infotech.controller and i would say i would say domains controller click on the face and this class I'm going to annotate at the rate controller so this will mark as a at the controller right so this will mark as a controller class now I'm going to create a and the top of this class I'm going to use a request mapping annotation which already we have seen in many examples now value equals to I would say slash domains right and i'm going to create a method like public and return type would be model and view because i need to uh, i need to mention uh, model uh, logical view name as well as i want to send some data on the uh, view so that's why I'm going to take a method return type as a model and view, right? So, and now I would say, let's say method name is domain itself, domain, and here I'm going to use a path variable annotation, path variable annotation, uh, which we have already seen in the previous video tutorial. I would say domain, sorry, domain, and here. Uh, this is type of a stream and it's a domain Sorry. and that's it and here I'm going to return a model and view instance and model and view is having a lot of constructor I'm going to use this constructor which I have used in many the previous example and here uh, uh, you will have to specify the logical view name first of all and uh, uh, I have a file is called welcome.jsp so here without extension you will have to specify the view name so that is welcome page and here I'm going to prepare the message whatever message we are trying to retrieve in this so same key I'm going to use over here same model name here I am going to just prepare a message uh, 
है डोमेन नेम इज कॉलन एंड हियर डोमेन नेम आई हैव टू प्रिंट दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट दैट्स इट ओके एंड रिक्वेस्ट मैपिंग अनोटेशन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हियर एज वेल एंड रिक्वेस्ट मैपिंग डोमेन स्लैश एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज पाथ फ्रॉम आई वुड से domain name right so pretty straightforward now uh let me create a jsp file and i would say index.jsp and here you can see i have to specify any method name so by default method name would be get http method get so i would say The request method is uh, explicitly you can specify, but if you do not specify, then by default method HTTP method will get itself, uh, or explicitly you can specify as well. Now I have declare. Uh, now here we can specify something like anchor tag H R E F, and here project name is this. So let's copy this guy. Slash and slash, and what the URL on the class level we have given URL domain. So let's domain slash again method level we have a domain again. So let's put domain, and here I'm going to specify like Yahoo dot com. So this would be the path parameter I'm sending to the client. W W dot Yahoo dot com, right? And I would say, I will give the anchor tag test path value. So this will be the button name. You will have to click on this. So this input, this URL, we are going to hit on the server. So as per the URL, uh, our this method is going to invoke, right? And here domain we are going to collect and just and and create. Just concatenating with this string and this input, uh, this input just storing in this model object and uh, this model object uh, uh, value of this model object just we are trying to print on the welcome uh, page dot jsp right. That's the that's the main thing I'm going to show you. So let's run this program and see what happens. And here we get the test path variable. If you click over here, and we are getting some problem. What is that? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Fail to handle method public something like this. Illegal state exec could not find path variable in request mapping. So let me check what is that wrong with this guy. So here, okay, sorry, I will have to specify like this, right? This this is the name of the path variable that we will have to assign over here. That's the mistake we have done. We did. So let's run this application again. Now, if I test it, then we are getting this guy, this input. But you can see last uh, uh, after last dot uh, string is truncated. That's the issue uh, you'll get when you work when you when you will have a input path input as a something like domain name or dot a dot extension. So what happens is Spring understands this input is nothing but this a file name. So That truncates the string after last dot, and that gives you you. So how to fix this problem? So there are a couple of ways to fix this problem, so that you'll get entire uh, domain name like www dot yahoo dot com. So dot com has been truncated. That's the issue when you work with the uh, RESTful 
sir service right this will give services and there you are using a path variable as an argument for path from as an argument so how to fix it so there are a couple of ways to fix it first of all uh, you have some kind of uh, uh, bean that you can define to fix this problem so i'm going to show you the first approach and that bean name is default annotation uh, handler mapping so let's press ctrl shift and search for the default annotation handler mapping and you can see this guy is already deprecated from the spring 4 so if you are dealing with the spring 3 container then you can use this class but uh, as we are using spring 4 right so you will have to find the alternative bean class which is available in the spring 4 but uh, that is very much similar to uh, this class itself another class uh, which is the substitution of uh, replacement of this class but first of all i'm going to show you this class how to handle the situation using this class and this class is having a one variable so value for this variable you will have to specify property name equals to use default suffix pattern and by default this is true so make it false so if you go to here then by default this is true so we can see that they have assigned the true value make it false and after uh, making this change let's try to run this application again and so now if you click over here so see now in entire string is coming right so this way this is the one of the way to fix this problem another way uh, if you want to uh, if you want to fix this issue with the one of the bean class which is available in the spring 4 then in that case you will have to use another bean instead of this bean this is up to spring 3 that's fine but if you are using uh, a spring 4 then you have an alternate choice because this bean is already deprecated from uh, spring 4 there is possibility in next version they can may remove so if you are using a spring 4 then you may use request mapping handler request mapping handler mapping this class and if you, may, you can make use of this flag to achieve the same what is doing this default default annotation handler mapping so this is the one of the way to fix this problem another way you may i'm going to comment this guy another way to fix this problem uh, basically this is fix the problem in the entire application but uh, if you are concerned about the if in your application there is few, one api there you have to handle this situation then you can you may use uh, something is called uh, you can use a uh, regular expression to fix this problem so in here here you will have to write something like this so your domain and here we'll have to write colon dot plus that's it and this will fix their fix your issue so let me run this problem again and let me show you so let's save it go to the next you may use regular expression to solve this problem as well so this regular expression says that don't truncate any uh, string after after dot so this will give the complete output and uh, uh, sorry what project i have run sorry i was supposed to run this project so let me run this project so if you click over here then we are getting the output successfully so as a application owner depends on you what approach you want to take and how you want to solve this problem so uh, this was the problem I got few years back when I was working on the, on the project and uh, I had solved this problem by using this regular expression. So this project I am going to get, uh, upload on the github and github location I will specify in the video description. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial.